I come from the Gitsan First Nation, which is in Northwest BC. And one of the big, the, the biggest things in my life that I've learned about is the medicine wheel, the four um, different parts that make up our wellness, which is the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. And really just addressing those four areas has been a huge part of my recovery. When I was uh, 25, uh, I uh, went through probably one of the most traumatic uh, nights of my life. At this time, while I was going to school to be a graphic designer. I lived by myself. I drove a nice car. I was playing rugby. And as I got into men's rugby, well, there's a bar right at our, right at our clubhouse. What happened that night was um, me and my friends had went out to a nightclub after the pub that, I, that we were at and um, I was continuing excessively drinking. Um, I couldn't tell you how many drinks I had, I had, had that evening, but I'm, I know for sure it was well over 30. When me and my friend were coming back from the nightclub, we were going to a parkade where we had parked. It was on the second floor. There was this deck outside of the parkade, and I was yelling for my friends to hurry up. I guess I had leaned too far over the railing and I fell from about 16 feet and I landed on my head, according to my friend. Because of the fall, I sustained a massive fractures, uh, shattered this basically whole front right side of my skull. I broke my eye socket, uh, I broke my nose, I broke my cheeks, and I fractured the back of my skull. They had to take it from ear to ear and basically pulled down my whole skull area and, um, and basically just rebuild my whole face. Because of the fall and, and the, the brute force that my, that my skull sustained, I became blind. When I was uh, found out I was blind, um, I remember saying, I don't want to live if I can't see. And at that moment, I meant it. I um, basically did a very little rehab, but uh, it was it was more ge geared towards getting me to walk again, to be able to walk being blind, because I felt like I was gonna step into a giant hole if I stepped one foot forward. I maybe have two or three friends now that um, accept me for who I am and are able to, to, to realize that I'm still Shane. My decision that night to go out and to, to consume so much alcohol was a stupid choice. And it was a stupid choice that I had done so many times and guess what it can happen to you it happened to me and it can happen to you looking up in the night and seeing the stars looking out into the ocean as far as you can see those are really the 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 things that i miss the most i also have this uh this tattoo and in my language it means strength because it's a reminder for me that I need to stay strong.